All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the global Halloween banner has officially arrived and in today's video, I wanna take a quick look at it and let you guys know how good I think it is and whether or not it's worth your dragon stones. Okay, so let's uh, pop into the scatter here and take a look at the featured units. So we have the Tech Transforming Gohan, the Fizz GT Goku, the Int GT Vegeta, the STR Bojack, the Fizz Angel Golden Frieza, the uh, Fizz Beerus, and also the AGL Bardock, and a few SRs. So in total, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven featured SSRs. And as expected, these are all among the best TURs in the entire game right now. I mean, you could argue that outside of Bardock and maybe Beerus, the rest of the units on this banner are in the top 10 of the best TURs available right now. I mean, I feel like this guy is still in the top like three, maybe. Same thing with these guys, top five. Um, the Frieza is somewhere in that mix. And that's not to say that Beerus and Bardock are bad. Like, they're maybe top 15 or something like that. The point is, they're all really, really good. I mean, this GT Goku can get like crazy attack, man. Like, he gets up to like six, seven, eight million on the first turn. Some really good defense. Same thing with this Vegeta getting like six or seven million if you get a good amount of orbs and uh, some solid defense too. And then this guy, of course, on longer events, he is an absolute juggernaut getting crazy attack, insane, insane defense. And uh, this Bojack, awesome, awesome support, great transformation. Uh, this guy, amazing defense, really good attack as well if you want to pop that active skill. And uh, this Beerus can hit really, really hard. This Bardock is really good against Wicked Bloodline. Otherwise, he's, He's decent. That's why I say he's not in the top 10 because he is really good against one specific type of uh, enemy, right? But yeah, that's the banner 7 SSRs. And if you guys don't have at least like half of these, so if you're missing like 3 or 4 of these units, then I gotta say this banner is actually really great value. It's really, really good value for either newer players or fit to play players who haven't summoned too much. They don't have like all of these guys. Obviously, if you do have at least one copy of each, then it's a pretty easy skip unless you want dupes. But for people that are missing multiple units here, um, yeah, it's a really, really good banner, guys. Really, really good banner. And on top of that, we do have a uh, discount. First multi is 40 stones as opposed to 50. Not a huge discount, but you know, you save 10 stones. And then after that, uh, it's 50 stone multis, but you get a free Elder Kai for every multi, so there's also some extra value there, although it's not like anything crazy, so it's not really something that I would take into consideration when you're thinking about whether or not you want to summon. Um, one thing that does hurt this banner, obviously, is the fact that there's no new unit, right? All of these guys have been previously released, so I guess in that sense, it's not as exciting. But as I said, you know, if you're missing multiple units, then for you, they're like new units. and many of them are still top, top, top tier, right? Like I said, this Gohan is still amazing. This guy is still amazing. This guy is still amazing. This guy is still really, really good. He is still fantastic. Uh, this Spirits, I think, has dropped off a bit, but still very, very good. And the same thing with the Bardock. So if I were like a free-to-play player or someone that was missing a lot of these units, I would not feel bad at all about doing at least the first multi, and then maybe if I still, you know, want to keep going, then I would do like two or three more, but at most, I would cap it at like maybe four multis or something like that, because we do have some pretty big releases coming up in the near future, but with that said, um, this banner would be pretty hard to resist, I think, for the average player. On top of that, we do also have a special pack in the stone shop here, which we will take a quick look at here. Okay, so this pack... Wait. Oh! Oh, it's the same pack from before. It's the uh, legendary summon pack, not the 
Halloween pack. That's kind of confusing, because this pack is called Full of Surprises. The banner is called Full of Surprises. And since we got the new Halloween banner, I thought that maybe we got a new pack with it as well for some Halloween tickets, but I guess not. Okay, so that's my bad. <laughs> that's my mistake. Um, I would not recommend people to buy this pack just because the Piccolo and Goku banner is really, really bad, right? So I just don't feel like the tickets are worth the money. But um, if there were tickets available for sale in the stone shop for this for this banner, I would have said it's probably worth it. So <laughs> with that said, um, it's weird that they didn't release tickets for this one. I'm not sure why, but either way, really good banner, in my opinion. I still wouldn't spend too many stones, because like I said, we have a lot of good stuff around the corner for Global, right? Specifically, the Tech LR Gogeta should be the next banner on Global. Should be. I'm not 100% sure, but based on what I've been seeing, that seems very likely. And then we also have the STR Super Vegeta. We have the Dragon Ball Heroes collab, and nobody knows exactly what's coming for that aside from a new pan but i think there will be some significantly more uh exciting characters along with pan like maybe a super saiyan 3 rose that would be pretty awesome but i'm also thinking maybe like a super saiyan 3 gogeta super saiyan 3 bardock um you know the list goes on right like i really can't say i don't know a ton about heroes but i did play the uh, game on switch for a while and yeah there's a lot of really good super saiyan 3s it seems like it might be a super saiyan 3 theme celebration it might also be a future saga celebration who knows right because we got the new trunks on jp so it's hard to say but we got the heroes collab it's always good every year so save some stones for that save your stones for gogeta save your stones for uh super vegeta and uh you know even though this banner is very good I would definitely not spend all my stones on it, but it would be okay to spend some stones on this banner because it's just that good. It's very, very good value. So uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video helped you make a decision about what to do with this banner. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.